How to remove and upgrade the CPU on a Dell Optuplex 745 running an old model of the Celeron uh, CPU. So this is a Celeron 1.6 CPU. So I'm just going to upgrade it to something better, Pentium 4. Okay, what we do is just uh, slide the latch at the back here. So pull it all the way back and the top cover should pop open, like so. And we're just going to take it out. The CPU sits right here, so what we need to do is we need to remove the DVD-ROMs, we need to remove the hard drive, so I'm just going to do that. So first we can remove the DVD-ROMs here, so I just put it right here, and so remove the hard drive, so I just leave it out of place, so now we have this open space so that we can open this uh, fan cover. So I'll just get a screw drivers. Okay, using the screw drivers, we're just going to unscrew these two bolts here, it's right here. So there's two bolts right here that we need to unscrew. Okay, once this two bolt is unscrewed, you can flip the cover up like so and take it out. So that's the thermal fan here on the heat sink. So here is so we just gonna put the latch out like this. So there is a latch right here. So you need to push it down and pull it outwards and then lift it up. Then there is a small cover, so you need to pull out this cover and then pick out the CPU. So here is the um, Celeron CPU. It has been covered with the uh, thermal gel. So I'm just going to replace it with a different one. This is a um, Pentium. So ideally we want to um, clean this part and uh, apply a new thermal gel to it. I haven't got any extra gel with me at the moment so for the purpose of this video I'm just going to put it in and without using the gel. So we're just going to put the CPU in. Make sure that you align the pins correctly. So here there is a metal uh, bit, a gold corner. So you want to make sure you align this corner up with this uh, slot. So make sure that it goes into the right slot. There should be one pin missing over here. So if you look at this metal bit, and if I turn it over here, you can see there is one pin missing. So right there, and you want to align it up with the slot here. On the slot, you should be able to see one pin missing as well. So we're going to align up like that. And we put the front cover back down. Then we lock the latch into place. Okay, then this is pretty much in the reverse process. So I'm going to put the fan back in, or the heat sink. So just a clean like that. Then we push it down. Okay, so we screw it in. Okay, once we've got the heat sink back in, we're going to put the DVD player back in the slot. So I push it down here so that it click into place. Then we're going to put the hard drive back. So here. 
So there is a small clip here, so you want to align them up right there. And this clip should go down, make sure there is no cables in the way. And then push it down and you can hear the big click locking into place. And that's it, that's how you can upgrade your CPU. So we're going to put the camera back in. Make sure the clips align with the top here. There's three clips in the middle one and the, side, the bottom one. So align it like that and then push it down. And that's it, that's done. Thank you for watching this video.